equation 5 for HL, 6 for SL. So, amount of carbon present in a plant two years after its death can be modeled by this. At the time of death, a plant is defined to have, is defined to have 100 units of carbon. Show that A0 equals 100. Okay. So, at... Now, it says show that, so be careful. We have to show this clearly. You can't just write down... Obviously, you can't write down A0 equals 100. So, we have to say what's going on. So, at... At the time of death, at the time of death, A is equal to 100, because it says it here, it's defined to be 100, and T is equal to, well, what is T? Well, T years after its death. So, when it dies, how many years have passed since its death? The minute, the second it dies, how many years have passed? Well, no years have passed because it just died. So t is equal to zero. Therefore, I can sub this into my formula. 100 equals a0 e to the negative k times zero, which is going to be e to the zero, which is one. Therefore, 100 equals a0. I'm going to write q e d, which means I've shown what they want me to show. Next question. The time taken for half the original amount of carbon-14 to decay is known to be 5,730 5, years. Show that K equals ln of 2 over this. Okay, so... So, the, the time taken for half the original amount. So, if the original amount is 100, what is half the original amount? So, I'll call this B half the original amount is obviously 50. So I'm going to say 50 is equal to 100. 50 is equal to 100 because A0 is 100. E to the negative K times this because this is the time now. 5730. 5730. Zero, and I need to turn this into this. Luckily, I'm really good at logs, so I will be able to do that. So 50 divided by 100 is just going to be 1 over 2. So 1 over 2 is equal to e to the negative 5730k, which means if I use logs, I can say negative 5730k equals ln of a half ln of a half and ln of a half is just negative ln of 2 therefore k is equal to I can leave the negative if, if we want negative ln of 2 divided by negative 5730 which is equal to ln of 2 over 5,700, oops, 5,730, which is what they wanted me to show. So again, Q, E, D. Finally, part C. He says, find correct to the nearest 10 years, the time taken after the plant's death for 25% of the carbon-14 to decay. Okay, be careful. He says 25% to decay. So what's 25% of 100? Well, obviously 25. But if, be careful of the question, because they sometimes they say 25% left, and sometimes they say 25% decay. Well, he says 20, um, it's decayed by 25%, which means there's 75% left. So A is going to be 75%. Or, sorry, A is just going to be 75 because it's 75% of 100. So A is 75, 25% has decayed. A0 is still, sorry, not A0. A0 is 100. And uh, K I now know to be ln of 2 over 5730. So it's negative K ln of 2 over 5730 and then this is this 
is T. Okay. So, hang on. I, f I thought that looked a bit strange. I forgot my E. Let me put that here. It's E to the power of this. Okay, so let me get out my calculator. I'm just going to solve this straight away with my calculator. I'm going to write T equals, and I'm going to give the answer. So let's sketch it. I'm going to sketch. Let's remove this to begin with. I'm going to sketch 100 times e to the power of negative. Let's do this fraction negative ln ln of 2 over 5730. And I have to call this x, not t, because your graph needs x and y. Now, Unsurprisingly, I can't see that, so I'm going to zoom out. Zoom out. Where is it? Well, you kind of would expect it. Well, we know it's going to be up here at 100 for 0. Now, I want to know when does this equal 75. So what I'm actually going to do is use the window zoom, change the settings, and I'm going to change my x to, I don't know, I need quite a lot here. Let's try, let's try, well, it'll be less than, I know it's going to be less than 5,730 because that's, that's half, that, that's when there's 50 units left. So let's go with, I don't know, let's go with 6,000 just to be sure. So we put 6,000 there. Okay, so there's my graph. Now I want to know when this is equal to 75. So what I do is I just graph another graph of 75. And where these two meet, that's essentially my answer. So I do menu, analyze graph, intersection, lower bound, upper bound, and it's 2378. So 2378, that's the solution. But careful, he says to the nearest 10 years, I'll say, therefore, time taken to, let's say, nearest 10 years. You don't have to write this in, but I am. Time taken to the nearest 10 years is, is 2,300 and 80 years for it to decay um, 25%. Sorry, for the carbon-14 to decay 25%. Okay, that's it. Again, guys, hopefully that all was clear. Um, that was the last short question for, for standard level and question five for higher level. Honestly, I have seen worse questions for your last, normally the last short question is very difficult, this was okay. It wasn't really, really, really challenging. Okay, see you for the next question.